Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to the weekly vlog. In September, we are going on vacation. It's gonna be my parents, and my husband, and I. And we're going to see my cousin who's back in West Virginia. We're actually going to Tennessee. And so I have been for the last like week, week and a half-ish, like writing down my packing list. I have been like planning my outfits, like starting to plan my makeup and what I'm gonna wear. If you guys saw my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation wear video, like I am like all in vacation planning mode. So I bought a couple packing things to help me pack. I actually bought a big old luggage suitcase because I didn't have a nice one. It's actually in the spare room, but I'll show you guys maybe later in the vlog. It's a huge like 29 inch tall one. It's massive. And then I also bought a new traveling makeup bag, one that's bigger than my coach one. I didn't want to take my coach one. This one's a little more organizable and a lot bigger. And then I also bought some packing cubes from Amazon. These just came in today, so I'm showing you guys. Let me show you what I got. I'm so excited. I haven't broke into these yet. I still literally have like their plastic wrapping on them. So I thought we could do like a little opening of all my Amazon goodies. Well, not all mine. There's just two different things I got. But I'm like so excited and ready for a vacation. I've never been to Tennessee before. Actually, no one in my family has as far as who I'm going with anyways. My parents have never been. My husband's never been. I've never been. So I'm pretty stoked. But like my packing list is a mile long and I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that's going to be taking a checked luggage. My dad's taking carry-on only. My mom's possibly taking carry-on only. And my husband's pretty sure that he's only going to take carry-on only. So I'm probably way over packing, but I'm like, I am high maintenance. I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of shoes. I'm like I have three pairs of shoes I'm taking. I've got an outfit for every day plus a few extras. I've got, you know, swimsuits. I've got makeup and skincare. I've got, you know, first aid kit. Like, I've got lots of things. So, you know, I've got a fan that I'm taking with me. It's just a little one, but I still have a fan I'm taking with me because I can't sleep without a fan. Like, I'm high maintenance. But anyway, so this is the makeup bag I got. It's a nice little black makeup bag. I think it was like 10 inches by 9 inches by like 3 inches I'd say. Um, it's a nice um, almost kind of canvasy texture. I don't even know how to pronounce that name though. The brand Re Revil, Re Revil, I don't know. I am the worst with brand names but it has nice gold hardware zippers on it and a nice handle. I also thought that this would be nice for doing wedding makeup and that kind of stuff. The last time I did a wedding makeup, I took it in my coach makeup bag and I was like, that doesn't look very professional. Anyways, you open this bag up and on the lid it has um, a nice little Velcro flap that flaps down and it has four pouches for your brushes to sit right there. And then it has another little like zipper pouch container behind that and I like that this closes down so you don't have to worry about getting makeup or product transfer from your brushes onto your makeup bag or on your products or vice versa and then inside the actual makeup bag itself has these adjustable makeup compartments so literally these little foam things that have slats on it are adjustable and you could rearrange this basically can't do it on my shoulder but basically you could rearrange this box however you wanted now this was the smallest size that they had they had it in several different sizes and a bunch of different colors I chose black just because I thought it looked one more professional and two just classic basic I like the black but I thought that this would be really handy for traveling and like I said, I will be able to use this for doing weddings and that kind of stuff as well. So I've never had like an organizable makeup bag before. I've just had one pouch bag to just throw all my makeup in. I've had a bag for br makeup, I've had a bag for brushes, but I've never had a bag that's been organizable like this. So I really thought that this was nice. I will link both these items down in the description box by the way. So if you guys are interested, 
then you guys can go get one yourself. They had this in, like I said, a bunch of her colors. They also had it in like white marble look that was really pretty. I kind of contemplated that as well, but I decided to just go with the basic black. And I like that it had the gold hardware. I thought that was really pretty. So yeah, this is like perfect travel size. It's really not that big, but it'll hold all my makeup and maybe even some skincare. Be able to put my super goop and my Tula and that kind of stuff in there. So perfect size for traveling. The other thing I got were some packing cubes. My mom texted me because she saw they were out for delivery because we share an Amazon account. She's all, what are packing cubes? It was like shrink bags. And I'm like, what are shrink bags? And she's like, you know, the things that you like either suck the air out of or push the air out of. And I was like, no, but they do help you organize and pack your bag. So I ordered a set of neutral colored um, packing cubes. And these actually came with more than just packing cubes. It actually came in a nice little resealable plastic bag, like Ziploc bag, which might actually be nice for, um, might actually come in handy for packing as well. So throwing like wet clothes or something in. So I might set that aside. But anyway, so this was a nine piece packing cube set. It said both things were in this box and I was like, no way, but yeah, literally this is nine pieces of a packing cube set. So first thing we have here, it says, wish you have a colorful life. And it's a little drawstring bag. It says that this is the laundry bag. It's a decent little sized bag, nothing huge. Honestly, I'd probably, if I was really gonna put all my dirty clothes in this, need a bigger bag we probably just throw your dirty undies and that kind of stuff in there or maybe it also like it'd be waterproof so maybe your swimsuit or wet clothes could go in that and inside there feels like all the packing cubes might have been in that so let's take them all out of there have our packing cubes and so they fold up into this really tiny little square size and they have little uh, snap buttons to hold them together which is really nice for when you're not using them Put them all, literally all three packing cubes came right out of this bag. So it came with three clothes bags, which are the actual packing cubes. It came with a small, a medium, and a large. And I really don't know 100% what size is what. But so this is one of the packing bags. Um, so one side of it is kind of this silky material. And then the other side is a see-through mesh which is part of why I decided to go with this particular set. One, it was the most pieces for um, the de like the most decent price. The two, I like that you could see through this set. You could see what was in each pack in case you couldn't remember. And then it's got two zippers, one on each side. So, and then you just unzip it and you open it up and you could fold your clothes, of course. And it has these nice little straps to buckle your clothes in to like really uh like lock everything in place you know to really tighten everything down so that's one size let's see that was the, i feel like that might be the medium size i feel like this is probably the small size yeah this is definitely the smaller size again the same kind of deal although this one does not have the straps on the inside but this would probably be depending on what you put in there you might not need straps in there anyways and then we have one more packing bag here. So that might have actually been the bigger one, but then we have this one as well. And this one does have the straps in there as well to tie everything down. So those were the three packing cubes. And they fold up super easy and snap them back together. So this I was also really excited about. This, it says travel on it with a little airplane. I was super excited about this bag. This little bag here is what they call the electronics on the go bag. And I thought this was super cool. Literally you open it up and it's got another zipper pouch on this side. And then it's got a bunch of like, it's got a little mesh pouch on that side. And then it's got just like a bungee elastic like strap with a couple like different sewn in spots. So you could put like your AirPods, you could put your chargers, you could put um, any camera cards, you could put 
any camera equipment in here. You could put any other type of headphones. You could put so many things. You could put, they have a mouse. They have your wall block thing for your charger. Like you can put anything you really needed in here. But I thought that this would be super handy to put in your carry-on while you're traveling. You can put your power packs or your um, your power banks, whatever they like to call those. Put those in here. Like this is like a really, really great carry-on size thing to stick in your carry-on bag with all of your electronic things in there. And then you also got a toiletry pouch or a bathroom bag. One side is a little bit, they call it a wash bag actually on here online. It says it's a toiletry bag. So this side feels waterproof and then this side's got the mesh see-through front and the nice zipper top. And it actually has a nice sturdy, this feels like it has a piece of like maybe thick plastic or something in there, but it's nice and sturdy so it will stand up. And it's got a nice wide bottom on it as well. So you can put your shampoos, your toothbrush, your hairbrush, whatever kind of bathroom things you needed in there. Or this could obviously be a bag for anything else you really want it to. And also actually has another zipper pouch in the back as well. I like that all these have extra little pouches in them. Like, that's kind of cool. Then we've got a couple more bags here, three more bags. This bag here is your shoe bag. It's got a nice little handle or strap. And then it's got the front zipper to be able to insert your shoes in nice and easy. That way you don't have to worry about getting your clothes dirty with a pair of dirty shoes. Then we have yet another bag here. So they call this one the underwear bag. So this bag needs a little bit of a fluffing, but it pops up into a nice cube shaped bag with a zipper around the front. Actually, it's basically the same style as the makeup bag. It just doesn't have anything in it to give it a solid shape. You would just fill it up with your undies and socks and whatever kind of stuff. And it just has a nice zipper opening inside to put, put your goodies in. And that's a good sized bag to put all of that stuff in. It'd probably hold all your socks, all your underwear, all your bras. Maybe even your swimsuits if you needed it too. Like this is a good sized bag. Sorry, I did not fluff it up super well to show you um, the decent size of it. But the other thing is it does have a handle on top as well. And then the very last bag to show you is they call this just an accessory bag. And it's just, there's no lining or anything in it. And it also says the same thing as that very first bag, which you have a colorful life. Just a nice, simple, plain bag. A nice zipper on top, which would also be great for carry-on or any extras you might need to toss into a bag to keep separated from other things. So that was everything that came in that packing cube set. I'm really excited about that. I think that this will help pack all of my stuff really nicely. And I will either in August or maybe in September after a trip, not 100% sure, but sometime in the next couple of months have kind of like what's in my carry-on and uh, pack with me kind of video. So keep an eye out for those if you guys are interested for what I am taking on my trip. But yeah, um, it's actually a work night tonight, but I really wanted to show you guys my little goodies. So uh, my husband should be getting off work here soon. So I think I'm gonna start dinner. I'm gonna put these, fold these all up nice back the way they came and put them in my big suitcase that I'll probably show you later this week or in another vlog. But yeah, I'm gonna put these away and start making dinner. So I will see you guys sometime later this week. Hello guys, so today my husband and I are actually going shopping. We're heading up north and gonna do some shopping today. We're going to Sephora because I need to pick up some makeup and stuff um, I wanna look at the Fenty Easy Drop Foundation and the new Tarte Hydroflex Foundation and kind of decide which one I want to pick up for our vacation in September. And I want to pick up a new concealer for vacation as well and a new lip product. So that's kind of our main stop. And I also want to try a new, an actual like true pair of mom jeans and maybe stop by Ulta because there's a lash oil-free eyelash um, like face cleanser that is an Ulta exclusive 
and the Ulta here in our town doesn't have it in stock or doesn't carry it, so I have to go to a different Ulta to get that. So I'm going to go up there and get that, and I think we're probably going to go out to dinner while we're up there, but those are going to be our few stops. We're just about to head out the door here soon. My husband just got the new Xbox today, so he's like super excited and plugging in and getting it all ready and getting all his like games downloaded and stuff. So as soon as that's like ready and going and downloading, we're gonna head out the door. It's our first time at Panera and it's actually really yummy. I got the uh, mac and cheese and the what was it something toasted steak and cheese sandwich and he got a margarita pizza and chicken noodle soup thank you I almost forgot and chicken noodle soup but so far everything's pretty darn yummy we got home last night at a decent time not super late but we didn't have vlogging but I'm getting ready this morning to run some errands in town and then come home and do some more filming um, so I wanted to show you guys what I got from Sephora a little bit irritated at Sephora. So the two foundations I went for, I don't remember if I said yesterday or not, were the Fenty Easy Drop Foundation and the Tarte C Hydroflex Tint Foundation thing. And they're both Sephora exclusive products. Fenty you can only get at Sephora and this particular Tarte Foundation is a Sephora exclusive foundation. So anyways, I walk in and they're like, hi, can we have a funny thing? And I'm like, well, I'm interested in both these foundations. And she looks at me like, I'm an alien, like, she has no idea what I'm talking about, and she's all, wait, what foundations? And I'm all, you know, the, um, like, almost tinted moisturizer Fenty foundation and the new Tarte foundation. She's all, oh, well, Tarte, we're no longer going to be carrying here at the store, and so they didn't have that. And then for Fenty, I guess they just didn't carry that particular foundation, and so they had neither one of the foundations I wanted. So I'm like... All right then, so I did end up getting, um, actually this was from Ulta. We also swung by Ulta because our Ulta in town didn't, doesn't carry this Ulta exclusive product. This is called Lash Clean. Um, it's just a, it's from Velour. It's just a oil-free makeup remover that I really wanted to try out. They did have a travel size. I really wanted to get the travel size, but of course they didn't have the travel size. But I figured I could leave some of it down and then it'll be, what, three ounces instead of four ounces, right? So it'll be travel size appropriate. And then um, I did get two products I went for. And then I also wasn't going to get this, but I really, really love this stuff. This is the Isol de Janeiro um, Bum Bum Cream stuff. I have only ever actually tried the Bum Bum Cream itself, but it smells so good. It's like a vanilla, coconutty, tropical, kind of slightly musky scent, but it smells delicious. And they had this in the checkout line in its own cute little bag. Um, it comes with body wash, the firming cream and a body spray. I was like, oh, I really want to try the Crush body spray. We walked over and looked at it. And I was like, I don't need to spend the money on that. And this whole set was only 25 bucks. And so I was like, okay, uh, yeah, we're going to get that. So I um, end up getting all of this and it comes in this plastic easy zip travel sized bag. So this will be perfect for traveling. I might end up taking these products out and putting other things in this bag because I might just throw these in my bathroom bag or in my makeup bag or something like that. But I was thinking we're up there, I was going to go to Bath and Body Works and get a body wash and then I didn't need to do that. And then now I have a travel size lotion and a travel size perfume, which I was like, I don't really have any travel sized perfumes that aren't glass. And so this is perfect. That was like a three in one knockout right there for 25 bucks, which is a great deal on that stuff. So, so good. Yeah, obviously I already have my foundation on. I'm actually just getting ready, doing my makeup. So the other things I went for was the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is also a Sephora exclusive. I've never tried this before, but I thought that this would be nice to just throw a little concealer on. Um, you don't really need any utensils for this because you can just use your finger. I got this in the shade Light 275 Canel maybe. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my finger and pat that right up under the eye. Oh, 
I've honestly never used one of the NARS concealers before and I know they also have the NARS, what is it like, radiant something, radiant concealer in the cream tube that I know people really like. But I just thought that this would be super easy because I could just use my finger to apply it and call it a day. But I'm so bummed about those foundations that I just really wanted to go and like be able to touch them, feel them, talk to somebody that had, you know, really experienced them or been working with them and, and you know, get to know those foundations a little more and talk to somebody that knew them and, and yeah, no, nothing. The girl literally looked at me like I was crazy, like I was talking about something from another planet. Anyways, I like that concealer. I feel like I actually did a pretty good job of filling in my pores and stuff there too. So anyways, yeah, I'm not using the foundation I want to use, but I mean, I do like this foundation. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation that I tested out last week on my channel or earlier this week. Anyways, yesterday wasn't a complete fail though. Like I said, I got the concealer and I got the bum bum cream stuff. And then I also got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. I was thinking about getting something that was just going to be like super easy breezy throw on my lips that was hydrating, um, that wasn't just like a lipstick. I just want to look very like glowy and dewy and just like natural beauty, if you will, on our vacation. So yeah, I thought I would try that out. And so I picked that up as well. I'm just throwing on some Fenty Beauty matchsticks that I've had for a while. Just uh, one was a contour matchstick, so I threw a little on my forehead. And this one is the highlight matchstick. So I'm throwing that on my cheekbones. Kind of been wanting to do a lot of like cream products, I feel like. I just want things to look very like natural. Like I was saying, natural and glowy. So then we also made it down to American Eagle and I did find a pair of mom jeans that I really liked, so I grabbed those while we were there as well. And that was pretty much everything. We went to dinner at Panera, like you guys saw, and it was really good. Neither one of us had been to Panera, and we really enjoyed it. Um, won't be our every time we go up there play steep, but we'll definitely be going back. So, anyways, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup, and I will show you guys when I get to the lip what that lip looks like. Let's try this lip out now. So it's supposed to have like shea butter and like all kinds of stuff, but I thought this would be really pretty. I think this was the original color. It's called Fenty Glow. And this is the original formula because now they have like the gloss bomb heat and they also have like the cream formulas now. Um, this is just like supposed to be a glossy, glittery, shimmery. I was debating between this color and the color called Fussy, and I decided on this one because of how tan I am right now. I think that Fussy, because it's a lighter pink, I think would have looked too, like, Barbie doll pink on me. I think normally, if I didn't have a tan, it would have looked really pretty, but for right now, I think this one was the color to go with. But I thought that this would be simple, easy to throw in my bag, and to just reapply whenever I needed it. It's supposed to be hydrating. I give my lips kind of that like summer glow. Has some color to it. Has a little bit of tackiness to it, but it's not sticky like a true gloss. I like that a lot. I think that's really, really pretty. Earlier this week, I took uh, my Teddy from MAC and I threw on this pretty lip gloss stuff that was from, it's called a Jelly Lip Gloss, and it gave it basically the same look, except for it was two steps instead of one step, and it wasn't super hydrating, and it was really kind of sticky, and so I thought that this is a one step, one and done. Anytime I eat or whatever, I feel like I need a little more, throw a little bit on and boom, it's done. And I could just keep this one a simple product in my purse or my backpack or whatever I'm gonna be carrying with me throughout our vacation right there and just pull it out, slap it on and be done. So yeah, I like that a lot. The concealer looked really good. I'll definitely be trying these products out in an actual makeup look. I think I'm gonna do a vacation makeup look once I get like the foundation and all the products that I'm actually going to be taking with me. I'm gonna get that all figured out and I'll do 
an actual like video for you guys so you guys can see what I plan to do. I've kind of been testing things out as you guys have seen. So anyways, yeah, these are the products I got yesterday and uh, I think I'm gonna go get finish getting dressed. I actually haven't done anything with my hair yet, so I need to fix my hair. I've got some crazy flyaways and, um, yeah, run my errands because I have a rug. I still haven't returned that rug to the UPS store so I can get sent back to Amazon and I need to go to the bank and I actually want to swing by Marshall's because we ordered new phones. I ordered the iPhone 12. I got a 12 Pro Max and so I want to go by Marshall's and see if they've got any cute phone cases because I think our phones should be here in like two days and uh, I have one kind of picked out on Amazon but it might not be here in time so if I can't find one at Marshall's that I really like then I'll just order the one on Amazon I like but I always like to see what Marshall's has got so got some errands to run I'm going to finish getting dressed and we'll head out the door all right first stop down I had to stop at the UPS store to return that rug I finally got it returned to the store so UPS can ship it back to Amazon for me. So that stops down, taken care of. I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like going to the UPS store or what that was gonna be like. I had no idea. That was way simpler than I thought it was gonna be. They literally walked in, said, how can I help you? I was like, I have this box sent back to Amazon. Held up my phone, I showed them the QR code that Amazon sent me and they scanned it and that was done. Like he handed me my receipt thing he printed out like right there and boom it was down I was like oh well, that was way easier than I was stressing out about it. it took me basically a month to uh take that into the stupid store and I really don't know why anyways now I think I'm gonna head to Marshall's because it's on my way to the bank and we're gonna go look at phone cases I'm gonna go see if they have any cute ones and if not then I'll just order the one I've already kind of picked out online on Amazon their phone case section literally had nothing it had a couple iPhone 12s, um, but I'm getting a Pro Max, so, and I think it had one or two plain black Pro Maxes, so nothing, and I had a bunch of screen protectors, but I don't need that because we already ordered those from Amazon. So, I guess I'm going to be putting in my order from Amazon and getting that one because, yeah, nothing like what I wanted, so, yeah, nothing there. Wasn't even worth taking you guys out to film because, yeah. So we're headed to the bank next. That's the last place I gotta go. And then we go home. It's freaking hot out here. It's like 90 degrees out today. It's hot. I'm sweating a little bit. And town's kind of busy, so I'm done at running errands. Once I'm done at the bank, I hope the bank is not too busy. A little disappointing. Usually they have a really pretty darn good phone selection, but not today. I wish I would have known we were going to be ordering phones yesterday when we were shopping and I would have looked around a little more, but it was kind of a spur of the moment thing to do it yesterday. Like I knew we were planning to order new phones for a while. It was going to be a surprise for our anniversary. I was going to order them just a few days before or like the week before our anniversary and then give it to my husband on our anniversary, which isn't until September. But yesterday we were walking through the mall and there was a kiosk and my husband was like, oh, we should, you should buy me a new phone or something like that. And I was like, well, you want to? I was like, I was gonna buy you one anyways for anniversary. So I'm really bad at keeping secrets. So I let it slip and um, we go through Verizon and they were doing a phone trade-in. You get a discount for trading in your phone. And yesterday was the last day to do it. And I was like, well, if we're going to do it, we might as well just buy them now. Get the trade-in discount with our phones. And so we did. And they should be here either the very end of this week or the very beginning of next week. So, anyways, I'm at the bank. It's busy here though, so I'm going to get out and go wait in line. So I finished up at the bank and I just got home and I checked the mail and FabFitFun sent me another little thank you box for allowing them to use my videos and like merchandising kind of stuff, whatever. So anyways, I thought we could open it together. The last one had like a candle and um, that lip serum I use all the time and a sleeping eye mask and 
Oh, that's some really good stuff in it. So let's open this box up. So right here on top, we've got pretty much just some crepe paper. And I see something poking out the top here. Just send me a little invoice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so sent us a really cute hat from Gigi Pip. Super cute distressed baseball cap in this really pretty nude color and it has a leather uh, strap in the back. This is really cute. I don't think I've ever heard of the brand Gigi Pip before, but I love baseball caps. I wear them all the time on my walks. Look at this baseball cap. Nice. Isn't this really cute? This is what I bought that for. Isn't that the extras? Okay, so FabFitFun is sending me a thank you bundle. They just sent me a thing on Instagram a few days ago. Well, my husband also ordered me some extras from the Summer FabFitFun box. This box is actually from the extras that he ordered. So, this is not the FabFitFun thank you bundle, but I will be getting that sometime soon. So, look forward to that in a future vlog, I guess. So anyways, I'm like, look how cute this hat is. He's like, yeah, I ordered you that hat. And I was like, wait, you what? <laughs> anyways, this hat is adorable. I am obsessed with baseball caps recently. The last probably five or six months I've been wearing them a ton. And I love all the distressing on it. And I love the color. The nude color with that brown leather. I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather. But the brown leather strap in the back with the metal hardware on it. It's really cute. On the inside it says, here's to a woman who wears many hats. Love this. I love the color. I'm obsessed. So, let's see. Then I also got some Invisibubble hair ties. I wear these religiously. I mean, I have one around my wrist right now and I've had a few of them break recently. I've had them for the same box. Actually, I think it might have been this exact same box. For a really long time, like, several years and so they finally got some of them got too stretched out and they snapped on me so I was getting kind of low so it'll be nice to have another set of hair ties I like when you first start using them and they're nice and tight and they're not super stretched out like this one like it doesn't get any smaller than this now because I wear it all the time and a lot of times either on my wrist either way they get stretched out after a while and then eventually they do end up breaking so it'll be nice to have another box of new ones and then the last little item he got in here, this is the Lark and Ives Collection card purse. Okay. So this looks like a little card wallet. It's a nice little gray leather. And it's got kind of a little um, keychain kind of thing with a tassel on it. And then on the inside, it's just got three little like slots for cards which this will come in super handy for traveling because I'm just going to take a backpack instead of my purse. So I just have this in the backpack instead of um, like a full-sized wallet. And um, I could just throw this in there and have all my my main cards. I could take my ID, my debit card, a credit card, like the main cards I need and throw those in here and not have to take everything in my wallet. So this will be super handy and it has a bigger slot in the back that I could throw any actual money in. So this will be so nice for traveling. I like that it has a little keychain on it. I could hook it to anything or hook a key if I needed to on that. So yeah, cool. So this is what I got. This is actually what my husband ordered me. I guess that's really funny. I thought this was my little FabFitFun um, thank you bundle. But no, that should be coming here in the next few weeks then I guess. Anyways, I am starving so I think I'm going to make something to eat. I actually haven't eaten anything today except for a cup of coffee this morning. I didn't realize that I hadn't eaten until I was on my way back home and I was like, you know, what should we have for food for dinner? And I'm like, I don't think I've eaten anything yet today and I haven't. So I'm going to make something to eat and then I'll probably work on some editing and just chill for the rest of the afternoon because I've had kind of a busy day. I did not put this video that went up on Friday when you're watching this vlog. So it went up on Friday and those always wear me out and running errands and all that good stuff. I'm tired and now I'm hungry and I just think I'm going to chill and edit and have a relaxing rest of the day. I've had a very uneventful day but I thought I should do something fun. 
to a close out this vlog so that I would change out my adornment tray in the kitchen. Uh, I figured it's time to take down my 4th of July stuff. July's almost over. Only got like a week-ish left in July. So thought we could get rid of that. And I just got my new box for August. And so I thought we could put that out together. It's really cute. It's got this adorable sunshine in it and a really pretty vase that's got some flowers to go in it and a really cute little uh, metal bicycle. I think this tray is really adorable. So we're going to go ahead and put this up together and I'm just going to time lapse it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like all put together. Um, they have like the vase on the top shelf on the top part of the tray and I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of a rearranging because it's not going to fit under my cupboards like that but yeah I'm gonna do it and then show you guys how I ended up getting it all put together Okay, so here's how it ended up looking. I ended up leaving the vase up on top and taking this greenery that is always in the tray. It's just um, kind of gets moved around. End up sticking that up in there instead and just kind of laying the flowers in the back because it filled in a little bit of the empty space back in there. But I just didn't really have any other good spot for it. But I like how that looks. And then this is how the lower tray turned out just like it did before other than they have some doilies which means they pulled some doilies out from some older boxes and I think I have had some doilies in the Valentine's Day box but I don't feel like digging through to find those but I think it turned out really cute it's very like bright airy summery love all the greenery in it and it should fit perfectly under the counter back there yeah, it looks so cute back there. I wish I had like some lighting under the counter to really like brighten up that space so that top tier wasn't so dark. But I do have those little candles in there. So it does help some when those come on. But anyways, I think it turned out very, very cute. So I've just had a very laid back, lazy day. Like I've had no motivation day. It's just been one of those days. And so I was like, I better do something today. So I decided to get up and do this tray. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and say goodbye here. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.